Over the past 24 hours, Apex has rolled out two live patches to alter some things in the game. And it's great news for Ash players because Ash actually got a shadow nerf in Season 20 where her tactical cooldown went from 20 seconds to 25 seconds. Well, yesterday, a live patch returned Ash's arc snare cooldown back to 20 seconds, which is good news. They also changed her greedy snare perk so that instead of lasting 24 seconds in the world, the arc snare lasts 15 seconds in the world, which some people thought this was a bad nerf, but this is barely even a nerf. 15 seconds of your arc snare lasting in the world is insane. 24 seconds didn't really make a difference. If somebody isn't going to walk into it in 15 seconds, they're not walking into it in 24 seconds. But it also still means that if you have a gold helmet, you can throw down an ash arc snare pretty much all the time. So it kind of turns the arc snare into a really good control ability because you can have it on the ground covering an entrance. And as soon as it disappears after 15 seconds, your cooldown will be done and you could throw another one in its place. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. They also said they reduced the level of the crowd during the end game on Thunderdome so that you can concentrate a little bit. Now, I mentioned they did multiple live patches. Yesterday, they also changed the wingman, which you may have noticed. They gave it a bit of a nerf. It only has 90 instead of 110 ammo now. It no longer has the boosted loader. You can no longer remove the optics either, so you cannot change the sight that's on there. And it now has a one times HCOG instead of a digi threat scope. A lot of people were complaining about the wingman in season 20 and this is a slight nerf but honestly the wingman is still super powerful i think this just makes the game a little bit healthier that digi threat is annoying but there you go honestly respawn w bringing out some nice updates to make the game a little bit better i know ash mains were definitely mad about that tactical cooldown so it's good that that's been reverted